Are you lost? Is programming something you want to do, but you can't seem to do it consistently because something is just not quite right? I think what's missing is your motivation. In this video, I'll tell you how to stay motivated and find willpower to do coding and do it consistently in order to achieve your learning goals and your dream skills without losing motivation. And stay watching until the end because at the end of this video, I'll tell you some popular myths that people believe that might discourage them or make them lose interest in what they're doing. First, I would like to talk about two sayings. Do what you love and love what you do. In programming, it's very important. For example, when I just started out, I started with Java and I kept quitting it because it was just so lame and boring to me and I just didn't love doing it. But then I switched to web dev, web dev and it was something I like doing and what I'm passionate about. So I like it and I stay consistent with it. So that's what it means by do what you love. Pick a path that's for you, that you love, and then it will get to you like the motivation and the consistency will come to you way simpler than if you were doing something you don't like. The second saying is love what you do. If you do some programming that you like doing, but something is still not quite right, do some projects that you love. Do projects for yourself, do projects for your friends, get into communities with people like in Slack or, or Discord for hackathons, or just in-person meetups, go to those. Talk with people who do the same things. Do things that make you love what you do. If you're doing web development, make some projects that you love doing. Make, make it interesting for yourself and it will be interesting for you to stay with it, stick with it. That is crucially important to remember that you should make it interesting for yourself because if you're not, then what are you even doing? Why are you even doing it if you don't like it and that's not something you like? Next thing I would like to say is be passionate about what you're doing. This is actually crucially important because again, it's the same thing as do what you love, but if you're passionate about programming, then it will come to you naturally in order that you will crave to do more of it. You just do projects that you like, participate in hackathons or talk with other people. You can show your, your projects to your family or friends and then their reaction will motivate you to finish them or keep going and keep learning. It's always so nice to hear other people appreciate your work and see how they react to it. And that's what motivates me personally. It's one of the reasons I do programming is to make websites that I like and show it to people and see what they think about it. So the myth that I was going to talk about is that you have to be consistent with programming. That's not true. It sounds crazy and I hate to break it to you, but that's how it is. You don't need to be consistent in programming. I've been doing it for around four to five years now. And even right now, I'm not consistent with it. There've been days or sometimes weeks where I don't do any programming. I don't write a single line of code. And guess what? It's fine because what if you force yourself to do it, then you'll hate it and you'll burn out and you'll just hate that hobby or that programming language or that field. Back when I was doing programming with Java, I would force myself to do it every day because I thought, oh, I'll just get through it. I'll learn it and then it will be better. No, it's not how it is. You force yourself to do it and because you're forcing yourself, you end up hating what you do and you end up burning out and quitting. That's not what we want. We want the true passion for what you're doing. And if it is how it is, then you need to take a break, do it. That's just totally fine. If you take a break for a day or two or a week, that's totally normal and fine. Then you're not going to burn out and you just develop more passion for your hobby because you're not forcing yourself to do it. And that way you'll learn more because you won't be burned out and you will have a fresh mind in order to get ready to go after the break and start on the new page. So don't fall for that myth. If you need to take a break for programming, do so. That's totally normal and everyone does it. 
So thank you for watching. I've told in this video how you can motivate yourself to do some programming consistently and the myth you should not fall for because it would discourage you. Thanks for watching.